Hello, Captain No Awesome. I'm going to quote you something that you, uh, that you said right at the beginning of this video. I'm not the one stereotyping. You're the one that's stereotyping. You're the living, breathing proof of the stereotype. Of the stereotype. Think about that for a second and think long and hard. Okay? If you wanted to make that argument by analogy, if that if you are actually saying that that people are the living, breathing proof of the stereotype, and therefore, and therefore, uh, accusing you of stereotyping, I've already call, called you on the hasty generalization. Okay, what if, for example, okay, well, let's make this analogy. Let's stretch this analogy. Let's just see how far it can go. Okay, let's continue that argument. Uh, you want to say that people are the living, breathing proof of the stereotype. Well, let's see. How about the idea that black people are all thieves? If you yeah, met one black person who had been who had a criminal record and accused of you of stereotype. a hasty generalization, yeah. But that's my point is I'm trying to debunk this guy and I'm trying to debunk this guy. I know, but like a hasty generalization it's a whole set of beliefs. Yeah, I know. But the hasty generalization fallacy is what it's based on. Okay. But let's just make the let's just continue this analogy. If you are saying that people who are accusing you of it are, uh, because they are the living, breathing proof of it, uh, if they are members of the group and are living, breathing proof of the stereotype about the group, in your own words, then therefore they're the ones who are stereotyping and not you. Okay, let's say uh, I had a, I met a racist person who um, who said that all black people were thieves, lazy, lying scum. Well, if uh, if you had um, okay. Well, say, for example, if one black person came by who happened to have a criminal record and said that not all black people were like that and, there was, and that the person, uh, the racist who was saying that was stereotyping, would that mean then that, you were, uh, that, the, that the racist was the one stereotyping or the black person was the one stereotyping for being living, breathing proof of the stereotype? How about this one? Um, Jews are evil, uh, are evil uh, uh, money grubbers um, or uh, all people who wear long beards are Hasidic hats. So they are the living, breathing proof of of, of the stereotype that uh, that ra that uh, racists uh, make about them, um, or that stereotype. Well, maybe not. What about the liberal Jews? I mean, would, would that would then who would be making the stereotype then? The person who a stereotype by definition is a positive assertion. It is saying that all of these people are one particular point. If there is one counterexample, the stereotype is a hasty generalization. So if you're making a positive assertion that all that 100% of Wiccans in another video you did are fat, ugly, and fake bisexual, you have to present the evidence for it. It's a positive assertion, okay? I assume you're well aware of that, considering that you've in a few other videos you've um, you've made quite a lot of comments on that before. So, you know, again, you want to you want to make that argument. You know that argument will have to work up in other in other analogies and other areas. Um, so, he York. There's a whole difference between Wiccan and paganism, anyway. Well, Wiccanism came around like the 1950s by who was his name? Gerald Gardner. Gerald Gardner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and paganism was in general. And I've already paganism is is the main. I know. I've already commented on that in another video. This time, I'm specifically commenting on his particular on his particular stereotype and his particular quotes of stereotypes. Anyway, Captain Awesome, I think you get the general gist of it now. Um, you know, the bottom line is um, you've been resorting to straw man. You've been resorting to lumping people together, guilt by association. You've resorted to ad hominem attacks more times than I can count. You're now resorting to um, uh, straw man attack. Uh, you know, you're, you're resorting to straw man attacks. Um, I've seen you horse laugh a good half dozen religions already without actually, uh, uh, for example, uh, calling pagans, uh, uh, pagan beliefs, a bunch of vegan hippie bullshit, to quote you exactly. Um, you know, I've already stated this in other videos. In humor, it's funny. When you're trying to make assertions about other particular groups or what have you, um, and particularly this last bit about saying, like, I'm not the one stereotyping, you're the one stereotyping because you're living, breathing proof of the stereotype. A stereotype, by definition, is a hasty generalization. By, by definition, it doesn't apply to the entire group, only to a small few who may have been seen and made a hasty generalization about the group as a whole. Okay? That's not called living, breathing proof of the stereotype. Living, breathing proof of the stereotype would be absolutely 100% of everybody. One counterexample, or more than one counterexample, would be disproof of the stereotype. Would be would be evidence which would refute the stereotype. You get the idea? Come on, Captain no Awesome. I know you know all this. You've made it on comments about other people's videos, like uh, remarking about fake Sagan. You know, uh, like like uh, like we're making remarks about fake Sagan before. I know you know all this. Apply it. 
Okay? The rest of us are the rest of us atheists are trying to do a legitimate critical thinking argument here um, to try to get people out of their stereotypical out of their um, superstitious ways, um, you know, lack of critical thinking and all that. But if you're going to apply those exact same um, critical thinking fallacies, if you're going to use the exact same tactics as the ones we're trying to um, convert out of their approach, you're weakening our argument. Okay, I've already asserted, I've already made this point before. So. Look, just try to uh, just try to either say something about it being all in humor and good fun, or if you're, uh, or you know, if, if you're going to make jokes about that, or uh, it, or when you're trying to make honest debunks of particular religions or stuff like that, uh, you know, poking fun or what have you, try to at least be somewhat critically thinking, please. It would be very much appreciated by the rest of us. Thank you. From one agnostic to an from an agnostic uh, from an atheist agnostic to an atheist, keep up the debunk, but please try to clean up your approach.